Hi guys, today we are in the Sunshine State and we are visiting Glenn. Glenn runs a contracting business and he owns two election headers. So without further ado, let's hop in the cab with him and see what he has to say. Hi Glenn, can you introduce a little bit yourself and the company? Hey you going mate? Uh, yeah, Glenn Withers uh, from Albury, the business is yeah, top spread. Um, yeah, we do a spreading business out of Albury as well as harvesting. Yeah, we're currently in Queensland, Mooney, which is about 1100 k's away from home, just doing a bit of wheat. So you own two election combines? Yeah, yeah. Can you tell us a little bit more about, about these machines? Yeah, yeah, I've got the 780 that we're in here and the 760 as well. They're quite a bit, oh, sort of seven years old. Both very good machines, very tidy and from bloody brilliant last year in the wet, that's for sure. They, <laughs> they only got bogged twice, not 22 <laughs> times. That was good. Yeah, you're happy with the terror track when, when you have these wet conditions, right? Oh, yeah, and so is my spawn in rough paddocks as well. So they're brilliant, absolutely brilliant. What would you say about the conditions this year? You don't need tracks this year, it's as dry, <laughs> dry as you'll get, but um, yeah, I mean, it's still brilliant for transport. Obviously, 1,100 kilometres on the back of a truck, it's pretty easy when you don't need an escort compared to a tired machine, but helps for contracting, going from farm to farm, even if you've got multiple farms, the man can just drive by himself from one farm to the other. You don't need a whole extra man and a whole another lot of diesel to go from one job to the next. machines that you have previously and what were you compare on? Uh, um, yeah before that other 760 I had a 760 before that as well which is 2012 model machine one of the first 760s they did that thing was great but the series one to series two is a massive step and before that was a John Deere 9860 and well yeah it's just chalk and cheese is an unbelievable step to go from a John Deere to a class especially work alongside John Deere boys they weren't real happy when I did it yeah I'd start earlier and finish later and, and still just rubbing shoulders with them throughout the day but yeah. when things got tough for them this thing these things just keep going for a contracting business it's it's really where, where election adds up right that's it that's that's what I say about them they like employing 10 blokes rather than six yeah. It might cost you a little bit more, but you get a bloody lot more done. If, if you had to give a few few features of the machine that you, you really like, now your experience with class machines, you had them for, for years, you run two of them, like, what would you say? The Terra Track's great. In a rough paddock, you're not chasing the front by either bouncing into a hole or out of a hole. It's absolutely brilliant. The separation is excellent. The quality of the grain that's in the back, you cannot beat that. I've been put into paddocks to top line uh, road trains because my sample was clean enough because the, the John Deere's I was in the paddock with, they wouldn't accept the grain that they were producing. So I had to put the class grain over the top of it. Yeah, that just gets clients to be happy, that sort of stuff that just wins every day. Going into the night, it'd nearly be raining and still be doing it. It's brilliant, it just, yeah, dewy mornings, you just get going and get started, whereas other colours you can't do that, that helps. Yeah, I cannot fault them at all. Yeah. 